LeBlanc, the Deceiver, a sneaky magician in League of Legends with plenty of tricks, misdirection, and a love of thigh-high boots. LeBlanc is an AP carry that can teleport small distances, shackle enemies in change, and blast them with magic damage straight to the face. You can read more about her on IGN's wiki page, which includes a full ability list, stats info, some lore, and of course this video. But enough jibber-jabber, this is a kill guide, so let's talk about the best ways to take this jerk down. Rule number one, her ultimate doesn't even exist! Like any good magician, LeBlanc's big trick is a surprise every time she does it. LeBlanc doesn't have a distinct ultimate ability. Instead, her ultimate ability casts whatever normal ability she used last. That means it's on a separate cooldown and lets her surprise you with a second version of any spell at any time. Just dodged your chains? Well, don't feel safe, buddy. She could throw them right at you again. Rule number two, her sigil doesn't hurt. Until it does. LeBlanc's most painful ability is her Sigil of Malice. It's a single target blast of magic damage, but the first time it's cast on you, you're gonna think to yourself, Haha, silly magician, your tricks barely even hurt me, you are pathetic! And then she's gonna hit you with another spell, and your body is going to explode into a fiery ball of torment and death from which you will never recover. That's because the Sigil of Malice marks you for 3.5 seconds. If she hits you with any other ability during that time, you take a huge chunk of damage. So in case it wasn't clear before, when you're marked, run away. Rule number three, she burst, she burst, she burst. It's worth calling out separately that LeBlanc is all about burst damage. LeBlanc fights with guerrilla warfare. She jumps in, she blasts you, she jumps out again. Be scared. If you're at half health, you should not be anywhere near her. She will kill you guaranteed, and you won't have more than a second to respond before you're dead. Go back to base to heal or farm elsewhere while you're low. Rule number four, she die, she die, she die. LeBlanc is a true mage, meaning that she dies just as quickly as she kills. After that burst of damage we talked about in the last rule, there's a window of time where she's extremely vulnerable while all of her cooldowns are off. Without her cooldowns, LeBlanc is one of the weakest champions in the game. Whenever you see LeBlanc burn two to three of her abilities, especially her leap abilities, try to engage on her. She may have just blown up your AD carry friend, but she'll have nothing left to stop you from avenging his death by cutting her down. Rule number five, she clone, she clone, she clone. When LeBlanc's health gets low, she disappears in a poof of smoke and two LeBlancs appear. One of them is an illusion and one of them is the real LeBlanc. Many LeBlanc murders have been sabotaged by this wholly unsportsmanlike maneuver, but there are several tricks you can use to make sure you're killing the right LeBlanc. The clone does not get any effects from items that have visual indicators, so buffs. Auras with pulses like Sunfire Cape, shields like Banshee's Veil, procs from Iceborne Gauntlet, that sort of thing. Look for those to spot the real one immediately. Mimics also tend to stand still or run behind LeBlanc just a little bit because of their delayed reaction to the movement command when spawning. When in doubt, shoot the one up front. And that's how you take out LeBlanc in League of Legends. I hope it helps you stay alive when facing off against her in-game. If you have any other tricks for taking her down, jump on over to the IGN wiki page and leave some advice for your fellow gamers. Until next time, happy fighting, summoners.